Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working with our edit modes in Pro Tools. And today we're going to be talking about the last edit mode, which is spot mode. So, um, spot mode, I'm going to be completely honest, it is not very common. Uh, we don't use it as much as slip or grid, but it does have a couple really cool features that you probably want to know how to use. So, uh, spot mode. Spot mode lets you spot clips anywhere. Um, and not, not necessarily like you would do in slip that you click and drag and just spot it. You place your clips anywhere you want. No, in spot mode, the way it works is that let's say you want to spot this clip, simply click on it, and the spot dialog will pop up this window. So what this tells you is, okay, well, where do you want it to start? Instead of like in slip mode, you would basically click and drag. If I wanted to start in, let's say, bar two, you could go to grip mode and just drag it to bar two and it starts in bar two. Now in spot, you switch to spot mode, click on it, and then here you can select where do you want it to start. Let's say bar five, okay? You press okay, boom, starts right on bar five. Uh, you can also select where to end. Let's say you want it to end on bar 5. Well, guess what? Boom. It drags it so that it ends on bar 5. Now, that's as far as the clip. Now, so you can set your start, your end, or your sync point, any of those. But there's another very cool feature that... I think you're going to use it a lot when you're editing. Let's say that you're editing in slip mode and you're moving things around and at some point you realize, oh my god, I committed a mistake. I would like this to go back to wherever it was when it was recorded. Okay, Let's say this was a drum kit and you started moving things around and now you don't even know where the clip was supposed to start. Well, guess what? With spot mode, you can click on it. And here, there's a, there's an option that says original timestamp. You can click on it, and it'll paste the original timestamp on the start sync point. And, and when you press OK, it'll put it exactly where it started. Um, so as you can see, this started originally when this was recorded. When this audio clip, this audio file was recorded, the clip would start on as you can see bar seven there started playing on bar seven as you can see and that's where it originally that's actually stamped on the actual audio file like Pro Tools knows this was originally there now you can move it on any other mode right but if by some reason you want to go exactly to where it used to be you can simply go to spot click on it then use original timestamp okay boom goes back there so that's a that's a really nice way to undo a long list of wrong edits that somehow took your clip out of context so you can always I guess you could say save the session by using this little spot mode feature so that is spot mode in Pro Tools if you have any other questions about spot modes or any of the edit modes um, you can always contact us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you we will see you guys soon bye bye Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.